This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Greg, CJ, you're one of our community service soldiers, so open up and just kind of talk about some of the things you do within your community and how that makes you feel. Oh, yes, sir. Um, well, to start off, um, we uh, done a lot of um, like canned good drives and stuff for the shelters around town. And um, recently, like last summer, um, we dressed up as a cat the hat, and that was like the theme that we did. And uh, we went to a local elementary school. Uh, we actually collected around 4,000 books, and we were able to um, read those and um, give those out to the kids. And we went to every classroom, and you can just see the, the excitement, and the enjoyment on the kids' face, and they really liked that. And um, along with that, I've, we've done like um, Halloween stuff, and um, like where we do like giveaways and um we uh recently since it's uh it's starting to get cold we do like we're collecting like um coats and um beanies and and anything that can keep you warm basically we can just uh just find people who are, who are in need of those types of things and um be able to distribute those um and yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of things that we're able to do and uh, I'm just glad I'm, I'm, I'm able to be a part of because uh, I, I just feel like it just, I just like seeing the smile on people's faces and, and, and bringing, um, bringing light to someone's day, even if they're having a bad day. I, I just, I just want to be able to change that and make them have a good day with the small things and simple things. And we appreciate everything you do. Jamie, your first question. Hey, CJ, uh, congratulations and thanks for getting that. Uh, you kind of answered the question I had, but I, I just wanted to know why is community service uh, important to you and helping others? Oh, it's, it's very important. Um, me, um, I, I guess I can say I'm a person that um, I find enjoyment in other people being happy. Um, I tend to put others before myself because I'd rather see everyone around me with a big happy smile just knowing that even if they're faking it, as long as I see you with a smile, then that's, that's fine with me because I'm saying eventually you'll believe in it and, and that, that, that's okay with me. But uh, for, for one, like the foundation would be uh, God. Is God God's the reason. Um, I ask God to put me in positions to where I'm able to touch people's lives and make a change and be a difference, and he's definitely done that. And whenever I get a chance, there's no question about it. I accept the 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 task at hand, and uh, we we're gonna find the best and effective way to to uh, to do it, and and to make people's days and their lives better. Any other questions for CJ? Damien. Hey, CJ, Damien Sorlet with the news in advance. Uh, how good was it to get Malik back after you know, he had to be isolated for ten days? And you know, get that rapport uh, going again. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, it's really good to have him back, and that's my guy. Um, him being in quarantine, um, we were, we were kind of on a break, so we weren't really able to do anything on the field. But when, we, when, we got, when he got back, when we got cleared, we, we hit the field, got back to it, just trying to get that connection. The rest knocked off. And um, it's really good to have my guy back. You guys were supposed to play Coastal on December 5th, and that was going to be called eight. Uh, now you guys get them in a bowl game in what's arguably the most attractive non-New Year Six Bowl this year. Uh, what's the mindset in the locker room knowing that you guys get another opportunity against Coastal in a game that's going to be on prime time with a lot of eyeballs uh, watching what's going down in Orlando? First and foremost, I'd just like to say thanks to God because um, everything that he's placed on, on us this year, um, we, we've tended to overcome it. And yeah, we had a we had a problem with COVID, but um, once again, God was able to bring us out of that. And what's meant to be is meant to be. And we're, we're getting another chance to, to play them in the postseason after um, it got canceled on December 5th. And we're gonna take the opportunity and we're gonna make the best with it. And, and that's the mindset in the locker room. Everyone's ready. Thanks, CJ. Thanks, CJ. Good luck on Saturday. Yes, sir. Thank you. Before you, before you leave, CJ, I just wanted to say, Alan Gucci, the executive director of the Cure Bowl, and uh, you know, obviously the Cure Bowl is about helping others. That's what our, our mission is, doing it through the great, great, great game of college football. And just love hearing what you've done out there. And uh, send me a resume when you graduate. You know, we got to get people like you out there. You know, and, and we love what you do. And just wanted to congratulate that to you. Congratulate you. We do this every year when we honor one player from each team that, is, that has gone out and done great community service. So you are one of our community 
these soldiers and uh, so deserving. I love hearing the story. Love seeing your passion and the smile on your face. Yes, sir. And, uh, so go get them and uh, congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you.